And here's the breaking news that we have. CNN can now uh, report, based on what a law enforcement source has told CNN, that the little five-year-old is safe, he is fine, the kidnapper, the suspect in this case, uh, is dead. CNN can now report that uh, the, ki the kidnapper, uh, the suspect, Jimmy Lee Dykes, is dead. There is a picture of him in Midland City, Alabama, for seven days. He was holding a, a little five-year-old uh, hostage. We are told Ethan is safe. He is okay. This all according to a law enforcement source. Uh, obviously, dramatic developments, as Martin Savage has been reporting, have taken place within the past uh, hour or so ago. Uh, Martin, you're, with, you're there with us. You hear the news. As all of our viewers have now heard the news, Ethan is safe. The hostage uh, holder, the suspect in this case, is dead. Uh, and, and, and you were telling us we're bracing for a formal news conference by federal authorities to report what's going on. Right, and, and Wolf, I have to tell you, that is the same information that we had received on the ground, although we hadn't had it from an official enough source that we were ready to go to the air with it, but that's right. Uh, probably about 40 minutes ago, there were reports of gunfire and explosion, and it wasn't long after that we then began to hear reports that, in fact, uh, Mr. Dykes was dead and that the, uh, the five-year-old little boy has been now rescued and that he is in good shape. Um, you know, you would, I don't think anyone's going to rejoice over this. They're, of course, very happy that that five-year-old little boy has been saved, but I think many people also thought that this was going to end far better than it did. We don't know what prompted authorities to act uh, and when they did or how they did. We really don't know that, and that's maybe something we're going to get out of the uh, federal officials when they come to talk to us, because up until now, uh, it's always been felt that even though this was a hostage situation, that Dykes was not directly a threat to the little boy. In fact, family members and friends and those who say they've known Dykes from when he grew up, that he loved children and that he would never do anything to harm uh, the little boy. So why they moved in this way, we don't know. We'll have to get a full explanation from the federal authorities when they uh, hold the news conference, which we anticipate will be minutes from now. But that would explain why we saw the two ambulances. Um, it would also explain why we've seen the change in demeanor here. If all of this um, went and played down in just the last few minutes, I think uh, this community is going to be relieved that the ordeal is over. But of all, it's bittersweet uh, because someone has died. They already have the death of Charles Poland, who many in this community consider a hero. He's the school bus driver who, when uh, Dykes got on that bus and said he wanted children, Poland reportedly stood up and said, no, it's not going to happen. He blocked the way um, of the gunman while the kids went out the back door. And so this community will never forget the selfless act that he took. He was buried just yesterday, and now the developments of today will 